Good day, welcome to Anna's sewing class. Uh, today we're going to make some hot paw packs or hot mitt packs. Um, I am using, there's going to be a couple of ways you can tackle this. If you don't have a sewing machine, you can use a hand sewing kit with regular needles and thread. And for fabric, we're reusing a pillowcase. Now there's one way that you can make this where you can have the, um, the device just floating freely in the pack. But we're going to do it in uh, by adding channels into the material. That way we're removing bulk and, um, and weight into your mitts. So we're not going with this way. We'll give that a toss over there. So here's what you're going to end up with. We're going to start off. And there will also be a PDF attached to this video. Uh, you're going to make a 4x4 four four square. So for the PDF, you'll cut that out. And you'll make two pieces of the fabric from the square. It'll be, it's a quick, easy project. This is the type of thing that uh, would be really easy to put into um, stock and stuffers or whatever. And it's really fast to make. So you're... Equipment that you're going to need, you're either going to use a sewing machine or a handheld sewing kit. Uh, it's always handy to keep a seam ripper on hand. Uh, you'll need rice for the filler of the hot packs. Um, you can use a rotary tool or a pair of scissors. When cutting your paper, try to use a different pair of scissors than fabric scissors. You'll want a pencil or something that you can mark with. You do not need to have a tailor's chalk. You could be using sidewalk chalk or pencil, whatever is most convenient. And uh, you'll need a funnel. If you don't have a kitchen funnel around your house, you can improvise by cutting these uh, are simply the straws, the wide diameter straws that you can get at your local dollar store or Dollarama. You're going to grab a piece of paper. You're going to make a little little funnel from your piece of paper. And I should be waiting until I actually get to that point to show you. But this is fairly easy. You can just hold on to your straw, hold on to your piece of paper over your straw and put some of the rice down into it. So we'll give that a go again now in just a moment when we are going to be working on filling up uh, one of the packs. So this will Pretty much what your finished product will look like uh, to make life easier on uh, on your eyes we are going to be using contrasting thread this fabric from this old pillowcase is convenient because it makes it easy to see your right side of your fabric from from your wrong side so of course when you start sewing you're going to sew around three sides of your hot paw pack uh, you can if you need it feel as though you need to draw your half inch uh, seam allowance on and follow it and we have one completed right there so after sewing around it as such you're going to leave one end open and if you don't have a proper gauge or something that you can use as a turn a corner turner you can also use a seam ripper or a pencil the edges of the scissors that'll help poke your your corners out nice and neat for you and after you make your little pouch it is best to iron but we are not going to be pressing for the purposes of this video um, if you don't have an iron uh, a heavy weight book will help you press your fabric. So, on this one, after getting to this stage, we're going to take care of adding in the first channel. So, I've got the first channel put down here. Now, I'm going to run the second one on, on the sewing machine. Uh, didn't get quite get the uh, corner on that one. And, of course, I forgot to introduce myself when I started this. My name is Anna. And we are doing the video for two purposes. Now, when you're 
use a sewing machine. Anybody who's ever used one before will know that they back stitch to lock your stitches. So now I got two handy little channels put in, uh, so now I got three all together with two lines in between. And to fill your channels, and I've got one here, here partially done. So I will take care of popping the funnel on here into this third channel. And you give the funnel a little shake and you knock the rice in and of course you also put some of it on the floor because that's me. Now, then you're going to fold in your opening. Once again, you would normally run an iron across the, the top of it. But for the purposes of this video, no, we are not doing that today. And back stitch, forward stitch. And that's in our hot paw pack done. So, um, I believe that we have got this pretty much you're, you're done. It does not take that much to make a hot paws pack or a hot mitts pack. When you add the channels, it makes it a whole lot lighter. It takes a lot of the bulk out, so it's easier to fit into your gloves or your mittens. And thank you very much for joining me.